Good afternoon, this is Sheila from MyCardStockCreations.com and today we're going to be working on page 4 in the, in the pretty, pretty in pink photo album. Um, for this page there's two pull out flaps on either side and then there's a pocket with two tabs, diamond tabs here. And you'll also need a paper clip and a brad to make this little closure. All right, so let's get started. You're going to need, again, one of your base pages. And there uh, are two flaps. And these flaps measure five by eight inches. And um, if you get the, the, the tutorial booklet, all the measurements and pictures are in the, those. All right, first of all, we're going to attach the side flaps to the base page. I am going to trim my corners and I'm going to trim both sides. And I'm just going to attach them with a little glue. Just line that up at the edge. And now let's glue the, the other side. see it goes just like this I do have a magnet on this flap here so we can go ahead and attach those magnets I always like to add those ahead of time because I don't want to forget to add them later If you don't have magnets, you could use Velcro, um, snaps, anything you could use if you don't have any magnets. And you could choose to do something totally different to keep your page pages uh, closed all right so when they close like that and then of course we're going to add our um brad here but we'll do that after at first i want to put back here let me go back to that page um okay 
Okay, I'm going to pause the camera for one moment. All right, we're back. I just realized I didn't cut a piece of uh, decorative paper for behind here. Um, I would attach your decorative paper first before you add the belly band. belly band and this is two inches by eight and a half and you're gonna score a half inch on either side just want to make sure this is right here and you're only gonna glue here and here you're gonna leave open because this is just going to be like a belly band. Are you okay? Over there my dog's sneezing. <laughs> just try to make that even. That looks good. And before you put your diamond, I think I'm going to add my decorative paper first. It just makes it easier. If you add your diamond square piece first, then you have to figure out how to cut the paper. So I just add my decorative piece before I add the little diamonds. Alright, and one's going to go here and one's going to go here. And you're only going to glue a little glue here and a little glue here just to tack it down you don't want to glue too much because then when you put something behind the belly band um, you don't want it to get you want enough room for your tags or your photo mats so I just put a dab of glue at one corner and then at the bottom Good. It's about even. Okay, and I'm just going to add my little decorative pieces I have. As you can see, I'm using a lot of different papers, and it's because I'm, I want to. Because this is just me. I'm just making this for a tutorial benefit. I'm not caring too much about the papers. I just want to use up my scraps and not go into my good paper. All right, so that's the belly band and the two little tags. So now I'm going to add these two papers. I'm just going to use a little glue. Okay. 
Okay. Now, I'm going to do this piece. side all right now for the front here I'm gonna glue the two front pieces and I think I'm going to use my pink Because I'm using pr these prints, I'm you make sh making sure that I lay it down the right way. I don't want to lie it down upside down, so you have to be mindful of the print that's on your decorative pages. All right. Now, before I add the back side, I wanna see where I'm going to put my brad so I want to put it in the middle so I'm going to measure so like right about there and I'm not sure if that's going to reach let me get my big bite I love this. This is the Crocodile Big Bite. Oh my god, I am so in love with this tool. It was one of my... Oh, can I do? It was one of my uh, birthday presents. And be, I love it, especially because I have trouble with my hands and the strength in them so it's like going through butter with that tool all right so oops i forgot one i'm talking i forgot one important thing you got to make sure that you have attached your um paper clip before you put your bread through <laughs> And I always put a piece of tape so it holds it securely. And then there's your closure. Real simple. All right, so now let's add our last two pieces of paper. That crocodile big bite. Um, it cuts through leather. I've used it on leather pieces. I used it on the um, the thick felt pieces. It's amazing, and I love it so much. And I also bought one of their corner punches handheld corner punches I love that too it's easy on my hands all 
All right. So, there you go. That's page four. Pretty easy. So now we're going to take this and we're going to attach it to our book. And again, make sure you're going to attach it the right way, the face in the right way, which would be just like this. Because you're looking at it. My pages are going from top to bottom. So you want to make sure you attach it correctly. Okay. So I'm going to use some score tape and glue. And again, I will, I'm going to mention that the PDF um, book, you can find it on my website, which is mycardstockcreations.com and my Etsy shop, which you'll find it under uh, Creative Cards 101. I want to change my Etsy shop to my stock creations too, but I haven't had a chance to yet. All right, so I'm just going to line this up to where I want it. That looks good. All right, and this, you know, opens like this, and then of course, I love this pocket, <laughs> this flap and pocket idea. All right, so that's page four. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below, and if you like this video, please hit the like button, and you have a wonderful afternoon.